Hi, my name is Reed Lundy. I'm with Kaizen Speed, and today we're going to show you our Balance Shaft Eliminator Kit. So this is what you'll receive uh, when you buy a Balance Shaft Eliminator Kit from us. Uh, basically just a label on the front that says specifically what engine it fits. Uh, a QR code, which will take you directly to our website so that you can see how to do the installation instructions. Uh, and there's also a, a direct link web address on the bottom here. So this is a fully unpacked Balance Shaft Eliminator Kit. Um, it's a complete kit that consists of the billet aluminum block off plate, the two aluminum plugs for the oil pump, the crankshaft spacer for the snout of the crank, um, a tap and a plug, and then four hardened steel dowel pins. The balance shaft idler pulley spacer is also available. Uh, this is only for guys that are still using the H23 manual tensioner. Um, and have their balance shafts eliminated. Uh, if you do what you should do, which is use our timing tensioner uh, for the H22 guys, uh, then this is not necessary. So in the past, we've supplied printed instructions. We're no longer supplying printed instructions because the information is available on our website by scanning the QR code. Uh, there's also a direct link printed on the box uh, to our website where these instructions can be found and you can print them from there. So I wanted to take a minute here and just explain the minor differences um, in the eliminator kits for different engines. Um, so for OBD1 H22 and the H23 non VTEC, you're going to use the smaller plug and tap that we include in our kit. For all other variations of H series and F series engine, you're going to use the bigger plug and tap that are included in the kit. And then for the F23 only, um, there's one dowel pin that's actually shorter because it needs to sit flush in the girdle instead of protruding. So all that you need to do is make sure that you mention to us what engine you have when you order your kit and we'll make sure that you get the right parts. My name is Reed Lundy, I'm with Kaizen Speed. Today we're going to show you how to install our balance shaft eliminator kit in an F20B block. Our eliminator kit works with all H and F series engines, but there are a few minor differences. So just make sure that you tell us what specific engine you have when you order it. The whole installation take, should take about 30 minutes. Once the engine's up on a stand, it's really a piece of cake. Uh, so you're going to need a dead blow hammer, you're going to need a pry bar, a flat blade screwdriver, uh, a set of vice grips, uh, a little bit of Loctite, um, a 12 point half inch socket, a quarter inch Allen, and then just a little bit of cutting oil. What we have here is a, a torn down F20B block and uh, everything is completely removed from it. The crank is removed, um, so we have just a bare block. Um, and this is how we're going to start the uh, installation at this point. Uh, we like to do the balance shaft eliminator kit installation before it goes to the machine shop, if at all possible. So that way when they get done doing the bore and hone and the sleeving, um, they can wash out any uh, tap uh, or, or threads that we cut in the block uh, during the installation. So what we're going to start out with first is removing the main girdle from the block and take care uh, to not remove the main caps from the girdle. You're going to want to just get a little pry bar and uh, pry this up, separate the, the complete girdle and main cap assembly from the block. Now sometimes you'll get this situation where the main cap has stayed with the block and separated from the girdle. That's no big deal. If that situation happens, you're going to want to just grab the main cap like this, tap on it and pull, and then you'll get the main cap off. So when I separated the girdle from the block, two of the main caps stayed with the block. Once I separated those two from the block, then I still need to get these last three main caps separated from the girdle. So do that with all of the main caps. So now once we have the main caps removed from the girdle, all that we need to do is remove four dowel pins. So we'll remove this dowel pin, these two, and this one. To remove the dowel pin, it's super easy. All you need to do, grab your vice grips, put it around the dowel pin, squeeze it and kind of make it oval shaped. 
once that's done, you just need to anchor it down, just kind of hold it down, wiggle, and pull. When you're all done, you've got an oval dowel pin, no problem. So now we got the dowel pins removed, and one final note, make sure to take care and not scratch this surface when you're removing those dowel pins. So this mating surface between the girdle and the main cap uh, is, is very important. So we removed the four dowel pins from our four locations, here, 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 and here. And we're gonna replace them with the solid dowel pins included in the kit to block the oil passageways. What you might need is a one inch piece of solid steel like this, just to kind of prop up the girdle. Some map gas to heat up the hole. And that'll allow the aluminum to expand so that it's easier to accept the plug. Now there's four different plugs. One of them is larger diameter than the other three. Obviously the larger plug goes in the larger hole. When driving the solid dowel pins into the girdle, if it starts to get a little off center, all you gotta do is tap the dowel pin uh, with the hammer to get it straight again before driving it all the way in. And you'll be able to visually see it and you'll also feel it because the dowel pin uh, would get really difficult to drive in. So just make sure when you're installing the plugs that the large tapered end goes into the girdle. So now that we have all the solid dowel pins installed, we just need to put the main caps back onto the girdle. So now, all the main caps are back onto the girdle, and we can put it back onto the block and torque it down. So now that we're done with the girdle, uh, we're going to get to the most commonly asked question about how to install a balance shaft eliminator kit, which is, how do I thread this hole? So this is the center main cap on the intake side, and you need to tap the hole uh, down into the block where it almost touches the back of the balance shaft bearing. So we'll take our quarter inch tap, and we're going to drop it right in there. And it's going to stop on its own, uh, right where it needs to start cutting threads. There's no need to drill a hole or anything like that. So once it's stopped, all we need to do is grab our 12 point half inch socket and start cutting threads. Now, before I put the tap in, I put cutting oil on it and the cutting oil just helps to, to cut the threads without uh, ripping the block apart. Once you start to feel a good amount of resistance, you know that you've cut enough threads and that you're all the way down. So then you just need to reverse your ratchet, pick your tap back out, take our shortened plug. We'll apply just a little bit of Loctite. Drop it down into our hole. And that's all there is to it. So now onto the oil pump. So we like to use only OEM Honda parts with all of our engine fills. So let's start with an original OEM Honda oil pump. So the two aluminum plugs that I showed you earlier need to be pressed into the factory oil pump. So what you'll need to do is remove your factory balance shaft seal here and press in this plug. And simply press this plug into this hole here. When you're all done, you put the block off plate Just like that. Uh, the easiest method is to buy a balance shaft eliminator kit from us with an OEM Honda oil pump, brand new from the factory, with the plugs already installed. You can buy it like this, straight from us. Uh, both plugs are already pressed in, uh, and you'll get a full balance shaft eliminator kit as well. So all you have to do with this unit is bolt it on.